we are back for a new sprint and i am so excited yet again previously i was excited to do all the art elements planning we started with the line hopefully you watch that vlog because we are gonna tie straight up from that vlog straight from that topic into the next one of the first pixel art fundamentals which is learning about jaggies jaggies are of course something i talk about in my low resolution raster art book uh, yep jaggies very important stuff it is just inherent in all of the raster mediums because well everything is displayed on a grid usually uniform one and when you're trying to display things diagonal stuff it doesn't align with the grid therefore we get jaggies so we are turning this chapter into interactive tutorials uh, yep, because in learn mode instead of reading for the most part I love this stuff I love reading but yeah we are trying to with this game we're trying to go one level higher right we want to be different than the than the written articles we want to be different than the uh, YouTube videos we want to be doing learning by doing right uh, reading watching stuff that's all very passive right passive retaining information what I want to happen is have active learning that's what pixel art academy learn mode is all about so yes let's see i'm gonna today on twitch uh, stream i'm gonna be planning out the whole sprint but you will just get to see the results coming up in a week for a halfway through update well 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 this was one of those sprints that just doesn't go exactly how you planned it the task where i was just about to enable creation of new artworks i've done this before i was just gonna enable it yeah it didn't go so fast i have been working on this stuff in the easel editor branch those of you who've watched the pixel engine series you would have seen that at the end we got here and yeah so i had to actually merge the whole easel editor branch into this project into the learn mode in the end sprint update we are here we are working and uh yeah i didn't get super too far let's take a uh, pico 8 palette um here pixel art grading that's the important part that we add pixel art grading and as soon as we do we get a little edit there we go and in the bottom right corner we can see there's a grading paper that's all there is right now you can't really click or do anything it's just the design i've done the design and yeah i only have one week left and i have to actually code everything so we'll see how far we get hopefully at least we can do pixel perfect diagonals we'll see if we get anything else but yeah let's uh, keep on going well, we are at the end of the sprint, but we're not really, because there's a, yeah, it was a very, very complicated sprint. There's all this algorithm stuff I had to do, the merging thing didn't help that I talked about. And yeah, a lot of things that I thought might be very quick. I don't even know. I don't know why I thought this would be quick. It makes no sense why this would be quick. It's very complicated. And so, yeah, so I will be taking a few more days to actually finish things. At least I want to have the categorization of straight lines and curved lines done. And uh, maybe the whole grading, whether how good, per how perfect things are, how smooth things are, that might actually have to wait for either another sprint or a little bit of extension between the sprints. So. Uh, but yeah, I will check in once more in just a few days, a couple of days and see you and I'm going to show you how everything looks like when it's working. Well, here we are. Yet another week has passed. We are on the Monday stream again. So this is now three months, three months, three weeks in the making. Uh, yeah, I wish uh, I'm thankful it's not three months. However, three weeks still more than i wish it would take and uh, we still didn't get the all the main priority things done we don't have the grading itself but finally at least we have somewhat good line detection differentiation between the curves and straight lines the red light is because i am at the end of my energy level <laughs> so after this we need to recharge but let's take a look at how it actually looks like so just as a little bit of a refresher, what we've been doing in the previous sprint is 
cur drawing curves where you have to follow these lines that I have created for you for these challenges. And what we're trying to do now is the opposite. When you're drawing lines, I want to determine basically where the line that you've been drawing is happening. Let's just go big. Let's go 32 by 32. It should be big enough. We can choose restricted colors. We're going to go with black and then we want pixel art scaling so that everything is super sharp and pixel art grading. This is the feature that it's going to show us this analysis of what we're drawing. And here we get a new canvas, only the black color. And now let's see this line detection in action. Well, first of all, it supports straight lines. See, yeah, I'm, I'm showing you a yellow color for, uh, for straight lines. When it detects straight lines, uh, we can do uh, proper pixel art perfect diagonals. Like I said, we don't have grading for this yet, uh, but uh, you know, once we are done with this print, we can then go on to perfect grading. That's this. And now let's just connect them with a little bit of curves. Let's just go, let's just curve it down. And there you go. You see how it automatically detects here. Things started curving at the start. It was like, ah, oh, maybe it, actually this is, you know, it's going to be a bend, you know, because we were going just kind of on a diagonal. But then as soon as it sees, oh, okay, you are going more than that. Let's just, uh, let's, you know, it's going to detect a curve here. Uh, it almost sort of works with freehand drawn lines. So something like this. So there's this little weird stuff happening around stuff like this here. But in general, it's quite good. And you can use this now to know how good of a curve you've been drawing. So for example, let's try to clean it up a little bit. So here we're gonna, we're gonna see, you know, if does it say that this is a good curve? So for example, here, you know, if you want it to be a better curve, you know, it should go three, two, one, one, three, uh, you know, uh, sort of increase the, and decrease the number of segments gradually. Uh, that's a very long one. So it should go something like this. Then it can curve downwards. And then this one. There will be, of course, uh, tutorials what uh, consist of smooth curves. So this is just now that, you know, analyzing whatever you're drawing. But then I will create missions that specifically go over this kind of lessons. You know, what makes for a good uh, pixel art curve. So, yeah, that's kind of and you can see you see here, you know, it detects there's a curve and here it's just a little bit of a too long straight segment. Uh, so it just kind of says, well, you know, here it flattens out a little bit. Um, yeah, even this one here, which is which is correct, I would say. Uh, you know, it would have to a little bit more bend it out uh, if you go into such a long segment. But then also then here it starts becoming, you know, you know, you can tweak this infinitely, you know, as you usually do in pixel art. You see, this is now like a very smooth curve. So at this point, for example, there will be a challenge where you have to draw a curve through different points. At this point here, it would say, hey, you passed the challenge because you've created a smooth curve. Yeah, it looks, you know, when we look at it here, um, yeah, I think it looks smooth. Now, let's peek behind the scenes a little bit. If I press this key here, it shows me all of the potential lines that my algorithm detects. So uh, the yellow ones are possible straight lines. And then the other way, it also detects curves. So it starts at one point and then this one it detects, okay, this is a clockwise curve. You know, it curves in the clockwise direction. And then here it ends because here a counterclockwise curve starts. So it detected another curve and then later on it will join them together. The biggest issues are with this kind of uh, thick lines. It's not exactly... Um, I was, you know, playing with it a little bit today uh, to kind of make it work okay-ish. It's not, it's not ideal, far from it, but you know, it sort of works. And it also works for uh, doubled lines. So if we have double lines, it also detects them nicely. And even transitions from single lines, let's say like this, transition from a single, like from a thin line 
uh, let's say like this thin line to a thick line uh, and then into a double line so yeah this all works that's it for this sprint it's finally over i did it and then next time we can finally go and create lessons with this uh, so i'll just do the diagonal lessons together with the diagonal grading and then i'll do the curve lessons together with the curve grading ah <sighs> That's it, that's all. Give me a like on this video if you feel sorry for me or if you're happy that I finally came to the end. Thank you very much, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.